I I look a mess. It's because I've been crying. It's okay. Though. Uh, it's a good cry. Um, I just got to Taos, New Mexico. And I'm playing this festival here called uh, the Big Bar Dance. I love this festival. And uh, But for those of you who don't know, I spent the last 20 years of my life like coming to Taos with my dad and my sister. My grandparents lived here. My uncle still lives here. But basically... Literally everybody that was here has passed away except for my uncle and including my dad. And I'm going to cry. God, we're hard already. Sorry, Instagram. But like driving these roads today, like you would think I've been driving for almost 12 hours and you would think like that's so exhausting and boring. But like the last couple of hours like driving through the mountains and just like <laughs> remembering my place in the back seat as a little kid when my dad was making these treks here like it was the fucking best and I started getting really sad <laughs> I started getting real sad and then I and then all of a sudden these random cows like show up in the middle of the road and that might sound really crazy but like there was this time, it was like something we always talked about uh, with my dad and my sister. I was in the back seat asleep. I was like 10 or 12. And uh, we hit something really hard. And I was like, and I like popped up my head. And I was like, what was that? And my dad said, cow guard. But really, he had hit a cow. <laughs> I know that's very depressing. But just the fact that I started like when I was on my trek through the mountains, I just started crying. And I was sad, and all of a sudden, these, like, cows just appeared out of nowhere. And, um, you know, we grieve in different ways, but, like, I don't know. 